Welcome back everyone, welcome to another lecture where we are going to learn how we can search our posts. Let me show you in this moment if I type it whatever I want to type here for example I don't know this is a sluggable title second post if I type second post if I type search it I will not be able to search anything actually because that not, that is not working and where this actually is located this is located in the same folder file that we worked before and that's nav.blade just scroll to the top that's pretty much it now here I've noticed something and it should be Lara Ulti Pro you can change the name there it's not actually changing here because this is uh, this is from the environment uh, file that's where it gets the name now here we don't have any method we are going to use something different we're gonna create a route here called search we still haven't created that route and we're gonna create it search that's it search now the method will be get everything else should be pretty much same we have the name query and ID query perfect we don't need anything else now CMD I'm gonna clear this and what I want here to create is I want to create we want to create controller and the name of the controller will be uh, search posts controller that's how we're gonna name it in PHP artisan make open the CMD make controller and we're gonna say search posts controller and let's put it with resources controller created successfully and it should be here search post controller now why I need this one so I will need actually this controller to uh, actually to um, grab the request in so maybe it wasn't a good idea to create with resources but I'm gonna delete most of them so here we uh, it will be our searching logic here now before that what I want to do is I'm gonna open the web.php and I'm gonna get that route I'm just gonna copy this one I'm gonna go to the bottom and I'm gonna say searching or you can say post search now I'm gonna paste this one and I'm gonna name it because remember we create the route slash search and we're gonna name this route search this should go to the search post controller so posts controller and I want index I want to load up the index very good now the index is where all the fun will happen so and also we need to create another file where we can pass in what we find here from the search we can pass into some view so we are gonna need to create another search results view now before doing that I am going to actually kill all of it I'm just gonna get update I don't need update but what I'm going to do I'm just gonna rename it it's gonna be index and I need request request I don't need the ID actually now very good so sorry guys you can create an empty when you're creating this one you you don't need to specify with resources and it will create a empty search post controller now here before this I just want to validate old-fashioned request validate I'm gonna validate like this and I hope you don't mind it I'm not gonna create anything else outside this one here and I'm gonna say I'm gonna validate the query what I'm going to see I need to the query to be required very good so in order to search something I want this query here actually this one see the word query I want that to be required very good now 
After that, when it's validated, I can't actually do your searching without it. So I'm gonna say query in, I'm gonna say request. I'm gonna grab, grab the input and I'm gonna say query. So I'm grabbing what's in the query. So I'm gonna say done dump the query and if we now refresh, if we say something like this, if we press it, it will be something. Whatever you're gonna say here, some things, some things will be there. Now, I know that our logic is working so far. Comment that one. Uh, what else? Now, I need to search the posts. So here we're gonna use a different logic. Post, where, so I'm gonna search your post where. So I'm gonna search by the title. I'm gonna use the keyword like and in order to search something, I'm going to use the query, a dollar query. So this percentage will help you to, to look at uh, the query, like what's before and after the word that we're going to put here. For example, if this something is included and before is that, some, for example, something else, here it is, it will find it for us. That is what this is about. Now, I am going to say or where if I can't find it inside the title, I am going to search it in the body. So if you do have some other logic, you want to search it somewhere or you have other fields, I'm just going to make it like this under query. Very good. And I want to put another one at the end so I want to search it before and after and the result I want to be a paginate, paginate as well with one G paginate to six again this is the wild card actually that's how they call it wild card for searching so this query is actually this one now I just want this to return to the view which we haven't created yet and I'm gonna say slash searched results and I'm gonna compact with posts I'm gonna compact I'm gonna pass into this value here so search results is going to be I'm just gonna close everything I'm gonna go into resources views and it's gonna be here I'm just gonna copy landing page I'm just gonna copy this one and I'm gonna paste it and see it's different because it's copy and I'm gonna rename it to I'm gonna re rename it to searched search results dot blade dot PHP let me see something searched results okay do I have I don't need this actually do I have it searched results okay it's same All right if you if it's not just copy it make it make it same I don't need this web anymore now the search results is actually the same as our landing page and you will ask me okay why we are doing this? why we are copying it now the search results it will, will be something different but before that let's import the class here it is it's not gonna work by the way now let's just check it out if this done dumb post will work so I just want to find out if it's gonna load me a post where I do have something in the body right or now do I have a Lorem Ipsum as well somewhere? No, new post. Okay, I would search it for the word new. So there is nowhere new anywhere except in this post here, the first post. Now I'm going to search it, the word, the keyword new. Sorry, new. And let me search it and see what's happening here. Okay, you did find something. Now our page name page 
Now you can see that there is a problem here. Right? We don't have anything. And the reason is that I don't use here in the search post controller, we need to use double quotes. Otherwise, this will not work. Now, I'm just going to use double quotes here, save it, and now I'm going to refresh. And here it is. I find something here, and that is the first post. Very good. Now, I know that our logic is working now, but I need to apply to the search post, search results, blade.php. So here in this one, it's pretty much we are going to rename the same because we are doing the posts. But let's see what's happening. Just going to refresh and I'm going to say new again. I'm going to search it. And Obviously, I get the new one and it's working. So it's not getting me the pagination or more here. Now, what else we can use? We don't have it. We do, we do have three actually. So this is sluggable second post, first post. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing that what we need to do because I don't have example to show you, but this is a good starting point. Now, let me let me just change something here. Let me just change the pagination to, to one, right? And I'm gonna save it. And I'm going to make it this. I'm gonna search at the post. We have one, two, three posts here. Actually, we have probably everywhere post, even in the second one. So at least we have three examples. Now I'm gonna search it with post. And here we go. Now I do have this pagination, right? So the field, the query field is required. It's giving me that error actually. Now what I'm going to say here, I'm going to say here, I'm going to change the way the links are working. The thing is that first I want to append the result here and I'm going to say append the request oops I'm gonna append the request let delete this one and here I'm gonna say the input come on and I need to close this one append actually so this function after that we can access the links All right now this function will prevent some of the things happening. Now I'm going to back here on the first page. Oops. What's happening? I'm going to go home and I'm going to search for post. Okay. Now I do have this with three. So if I go to the second one, now it will go to the second one because here I'm appending the post and the result page equal two. page equal three before it was not true. Now, one more thing is I lose the result what I've searched here. It's not awesome, by the way. So how we can fix this? So if we go to the nav.blade, here the value, we can change the value. Uh, we can change the value and here we can just, whatever it's requested, request, if I can type it right this time, I'm going to grab the input and I'm going to say query. So that means whatever I search it here posts, it's going to stay there and it's going to yield me the results. It's not going to have me any problem. So here, even, even if I search uh, new, it's going to give me one result. It's not going to give me pagination. Now it's working, right? That is what we are want to have a fully functional searching um, searching form. Now this form will work everywhere in every page. Why? Just gonna go back, go back once more. It's gonna work because here we use this append link, and now this request here is required. Also, one more thing that we can do, we can spice it up. Um, 
remember that I don't want to be able to search with E only. Right? Because it's going to give me more results. Everywhere there is E in the body or in the title. So I just want this query to make it a little bit more uh, restricted. So what we can do, we can say that it is required, but I want to be a minimum of three, sorry, semicolon, three characters, and I don't need this. Right, now, if I refresh, if I go back, actually, if I type an E, it will not give me, the query must be at least three characters. That's nice. Now, if I type new, here it is. The new is there. If I type post without T, it'll still work and it give me everywhere where the post is. That is pretty much awesome, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Now you know how to create super robust searching, um, searching form where you can search the entire database. So, here we did search it by, by the title and we use the wildcard and we search the body if you have different logic please use there and the pagination should be six for example I'm not gonna do it with one so thank you very much I hope to see you in the next lecture and I hope you enjoy what we have done so far that's it